Welcome to the first lesson on rigging, where we will cover one of the quick rig tools and discuss what is rigging, why it's important, and why we need to learn it. Basically, if we're going to animate this guy and we have a model here, how do we go about animating it? There's no way to control it. It's just a bunch of uh, vertices and faces. We could maybe try to go in here and set keys on vertices. And that'd be very inefficient if we just picked certain vertices and tried to move them around, try to create a pose, you can quickly see we'll get off model, which uh, when we're talking about 2D animation, they always had to worry about, and they had model sheets to make sure that you never got off model and the volume of the character was always the same each frame that you drew it. Well, in 3D animation, what we need to worry about is not so much keeping the character on model, but using the model that we have in a way that we can animate it. And that's what rigging is. It's basically adding a skeleton to this piece of geometry. So we need to add a skeleton to it. How do we do that? There's a couple different ways and we'll start with the, the simplest way. We'll go up here to the rigging tab and we'll go to skeleton, quick rig. We'll open up a new uh, window here and you can see that we actually have just a one click solution here. And luckily for us, this model uh, will work decently well with this, depending on the model you have. Uh, definitely feel free to open up this scene and follow along so that you have this model and can play with it as well once we uh, get going here. So I'm going to hit Auto Rig, and it'll say we need to choose a mesh first. So we need to select them and then click the button. Now you can see a lot of things just happened, and it makes the model look a lot more complicated. Um, you can see in the outline are two a lot of things were added. There's a, a new icon over here, uh, a couple new ones. This purple one is a joint, and that has all the joints in here, and they're indicated by these yellow pieces here that are kind of these uh, triangles with circles at the end. And right away you can see that there's a few errors. You can see that it didn't place the elbow in the right place. The elbow is more in the forearm here. It should be up here. But for our purposes, just so you get an idea of like what rigging is, we're going to use this quick rig tool real quick for discussion purposes. So we've rigged this thing. So what happened is it added bones and then it weighted the mesh to these bones. And that means that each one of these vertices was giving a value to say, you know, especially in the spine here where we have a lot of different bones together, this vertice here might be weighted to this joint, maybe 80%, and maybe 20% to this joint. And so it'll have a value of zero to one, which is represented by a color that we'll see later of a black to white. And it basically says, you know, follow this joint this much. 